expensive watches, Floyd Mayweather is also a fan of jewelry, especially chains and bracelets. In this video, we're going to be talking about Floyd Mayweather's insane jewelry collection. We bet you didn't know he dropped more than $5 million on jewelry in one day. Make sure you stay until the end because this information is really incredible. After watching this video, you will see all the Floyd Mayweather's jewelries. Expensive Watches Collection Floyd is the fifth highest paid athlete of all time and one of just six athletes whose career earnings have topped $1 billion. What's perhaps most impressive about Floyd's earning stats is that he managed to become the fifth highest paid athlete ever with relatively scant endorsement earnings. By comparison, most of the highest paid athletes in history earn the vast majority of their income through endorsement deals. Floyd earned more than a half billion dollars just from two fights. He earned $250 million in 2015 after fighting Manny Pacquiao. He earned $300 million fighting Conor McGregor in 2017. We all know that Floyd is a huge fan of really expensive watches. He's showing them on his Instagram account and some people even think he's showing off. But the watches are so incredible to hide. His watches are all diamond encrusted and sparkle almost as he did in the ring. When it comes to diamonds, we always talk about the four C's. Cut, clarity, color and carrot. But here's a look at the fifth, chronos, the Greek word for time. Diamonds can add an inordinate amount of value and aesthetic to luxury timepieces, some of which are the most expensive and spectacular in the world. Floyd Mayweather has a watch collection, 41 timepieces in total, including a crown jewel, the $18 million one and only. Most recently, the boxer shared an Instagram video showing off his diamond encrusted watches, bracelets and rings, which made some of his fans and the people who follow him jealous. In typical Floyd Mayweather fashion, he did so while wearing a rainbow Versace robe and his $18 million billionaire watch, while counting out stacks of hundreds. Showing his watches, he was saying, now if I go on vacation, my fault. When I go on vacation for 30 days, I take 30 watches with me. But you know what? What's crazy is this. If we add 10 more days, I take 10 more watches. But then I say, fuck it. If I want to bring out the one and only, then I bring out the watch that costs 18 million. That brings Floyd Mayweather's traveling watch collection to 41 pieces. As it was already said before, the most expensive watch in the video is Jacob & Co's $18 million billionaire diamond turbulon watch. It was created by Jacob Arabo in affiliation with Flavio Briatore and his billionaire lifestyle SARL company in 2015, and it features 239 emerald cut baguette diamond stones, each weighting up to 3 carats. It is also equipped with a GCA M09 caliber that is composed of 167 components and packs up to 72 hours of power reserve. The billionaire watch is certainly one of a kind. Although Jacob and Co's founder, Rabo, mentioned that he will also create other similar models using different stones. In fact, there's the Millionaire, which is similar to the Billionaire, except that it is backed with 260 carats of yellow diamonds. The other watches he likes so much, Jacob and Co Rainbow Turbulon One of One. Still from Jacob & Co is the impressive Rainbow Turbion 1 of 1. It is built with an 18K white gold 47.5mm case. Its functions include hours, minutes, sweep seconds, 5 time zone indicators and a date indicator. Its water resistance is only up to 30 meters. Its Turbion movement is mechanical, manual winding that features multiple time zones and a 120 hour power reserve. The Turbion also makes up for the errors in time timekeeping and is much more than just a piece of jewelry. It might be Floyd Mayweather's favorite match for the time, but the undefeated pugilist has a lot more in store. And another watch we're going to talk about is Richard Mule RM011, customized. The cost is about $168,000. Fleeting when it comes to comfort and luxury. The dashboard has stainless mobs with electric micro switches. The first ever Mulsanne to be produced was sold at auction for $500,000. Floyd Mayweather owns a couple of these luxury cars, which goes to show money means nothing to him when it comes to acquiring toys he adores. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon 
so you'll get notified when we upload the next video. 8. Rolls Royce Ghost Like his fellow richest athlete Cristiano Ronaldo, Mayweather has also turned to British automotive engineers Rolls Royce for his luxury vehicles. Mayweather is addicted to Rolls Royces. He'll buy just any vehicle from Rolls Royce as long as it screams luxury and class. He once admitted in an interview that he couldn't seem to choose between the Ferrari and the Rolls Royce. In fact, even if his Ferraris are way more expensive, he still values the Rolls. The Ghost starts at 250000 even when it's considered to be an entry-level model. It can go from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds and has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. There's very little difference between That's the Ghost and the Wraith when it comes to performance. This luxury car comes with an 8-speed automatic and can produce up to 5,683 horsepower. 7. La Ferrari Aperta This is yet another limited edition car owned by Floyd Mayweather. La Ferrari is Italian for the Ferrari, and it's also an affectionate word used to refer to the Aperta. There have been 499 units produced, and each one of them was worth more than $1 million. Jeez, Before the model was developed, there call. were speculations oh that it would weigh less than 1,000 kg, which would have been groundbreaking for supercars. The 500th car was made purposely to be sold at auction, and it sold for $10 million. Mayweather is likely to sell his, given his track record with such collector's items. The La Ferrari Aperta has a top speed of 217 miles per hour, which is almost the same speed that the Enzo has. It can go from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Damn, that's bad. 6. Bugatti Chiron When it comes to Bugatti, it is very hard for Floyd Mayweather to avoid buying one. The Bugatti is an upgrade to the Veyron and is one of the top three fastest cars in the world. It was produced to succeed the Bugatti Veyron. Veyron owners were contacted if they'd be interested in buying the Chiron. Mayweather, in his customary fashion, was one of the few people to first own the Chiron. In fact, the first 200 units were sold out before production could even begin. In the pursuit of owning the perfect supercar, you have to make sacrifices even if your names are Floyd Money Mayweather. That's right. To buy this beauty, he had to sell one of his Bugatti Veyron 16.4, but there is more to the story here. When Bugatti was about to enter the Chiron into production, it contacted the Veyron owners and Mayweather was one of 200 who agreed to buy it. Thus, the car was sold out even before it had hit production. The supercar has a top speed of 267 miles per hour, but it can go up to 288 miles per hour according to Bugatti. It's been electronically designed to max at 267 miles per hour for safety reasons. There aren't a lot of places in the world where you can even do 250 miles per hour on a <laughs> one-mile stretch. The car Damn. has 1,479 horsepower, which is astonishing, even with the price tag. Mayweather paid $3.5 billion in cash for the Chiron. 5. Rolls-Royce Phantom The Rolls-Royce Phantom costs around $400,000, and Floyd Mayweather owns six of them some of which have zero mileage. All of the Mayweather's Rolls Royces were armored with a VR7 level ballistic rating. Of the six Rolls, two are dropped and moved worth $520,000. One is a Phantom Limousine valued at $53,300. One is a Phantom Limited Edition worth $641,000. One is a Wraith worth $34,200. And one is a Ghost Extended Wheelbase worth $510,000. It's said that Mayweather bought these vehicles randomly and paid for them all in cash. Buy, Mayweather been, has um, had one car dealer in the last 18 years, people. and that dealer has had to invest heavily in cash counting machines because of the boxer's affinity for paying in cash. According to Josh Tobin of Tobin Motors, Mayweather owns over 16 Rolls Royce Phantoms. 4. Ferrari Enzo Lloyd Mayweather should just become a brand ambassador for Mansion for more than three million less than asking price. Thanks to an exclusive all cash offer. Here's everything you need to know about his new luxury home and how he plans to become a billionaire using his love for expensive real estate. Though he's not currently a billionaire, it's estimated that boxing legend Floyd Mayweather has made at least a billion dollars in total throughout his career. He makes an estimated $300 million per fight and has a current net worth of $560 million. But while he's pretty good at 
raking in the money. He's even better at finding lavish and extravagant ways to spend it. You can't expect anything subtle from a guy who bought an $18 million watch and a $4.7 million supercar, of which only two were ever made, by the way. He even has his very own $60 million private jet, which he appropriately named Air Mayweather. And of course, we can't forget the many times he showed off photos of himself flaunting expensive jewelry and millions of dollars in cold hard cash. While the prize fighter has many homes in many areas around the U.S., from Miami to Las Vegas, he recently used his millions to buy himself his most expensive property yet in Beverly Hills. And you know what's even more impressive? It was an all-cash deal and a present to himself for his win against Conor McGregor. We know you're curious about what Floyd Mayweather considers luxurious, so let's take a tour of his L.A. paradise. In 27... At FanDuel, we speak Bro, that's, what we got. that's why we give you more ways to bet on the NHL. Whether you want to bet on a... Mayweather set his sights on a huge estate in an area made famous for its opulent Rodeo Drive and many movie star inhabitants. This six-bedroom, ten-bathroom mansion was originally listed for $38 million before the price dropped to twenty-eight point nine five. it would take up the whole paper since you saw it. Mayweather came with an irresistible all-cash offer and got a huge discount, scoring the luxury home for a cool $25.5 million in 2017. It was the third most expensive home sold in the area that year. The French modern estate measures over 15,000 square feet and Paris classic style with sleek modern luxury. The home sits on half an acre of land and was originally built in 1992, but was extensively renovated by developer Niall Miami in 2015 to make it worthy of a celebrity buyer. The mansion has a massive kitchen, which was imported all the way from Italy. Mayweather's personal chef uses it to prepare the boxer's five-star meals, for which he reportedly pays $1,000 per plate. He can eat these meals in his lavish dining room, which boasts floor-to-ceiling mirrors, large windows overlooking his yard and a huge fireplace that contributes to the cozy ambiance for rest relaxation and some entertainment mayweather can use any of his three spacious lounges two of them are bright white contrasting the dark oak lounge where he conducts most of his business meetings his most formal living room has a huge mirror and fireplace to match the dining room and there are 10 sets of large french doors leading out to the backyard for an extra five hundred thousand dollars mayweather managed to score all of the home's expensive furnishings as part of his cash only deal this includes things like the marble tubs in the bathrooms and the many impressive chandeliers and light fixtures. Each guest bedroom has its own deluxe ensuite bathroom. And Mayweather gets to enjoy two boutique-style walk-in closets where all of his clothing is perfectly organized and right on display. He also has an entire room dedicated to the titles he won during his 21-year career. The master bedroom features a small lounge area, a fireplace, and more French doors that lead out to a terrace overlooking the backyard. The mansion also has a few deluxe features that speak to Mayweather's expensive taste and love of all things unique and exclusive. The first is a 20-seat cinema with lush couches. But what's even more impressive is that the boxer has his very own candy shop right next door, complete with all of his favorite treats to satisfy his notorious sweet tooth and make his screenings of unreleased films feel like actual trips to the theater, but without strangers talking through all the good parts. For after-movie drinks, Mayweather can just head over to his bar, which features a temperature-controlled wine rack with 225 <coughs> bottles yeah, of the best done, reds and whites in case behind glass doors. The mansion also comes with a gym, a full staff suite, and four-car garage. Floyd Mayweather is known for his love of lavish parties, and while the house is perfect for entertaining, the huge backyard is even better. Decorated with palm trees, green grass, and black and white tiling, the backyard features a huge pool with its own pool house, where you can find a grilling station and changing rooms. Many terraces and balconies on the back of the house overlook the sprawling yard and its many seating areas, which are complete with lounge chairs and fire accessories. There are also bars and couches in the pool house, and of course, no select Celebrity home would be complete without a jacuzzi. Mayweather sits right beside the pool so he can easily hop from one to the other. If Mayweather ever gets sick of his yard and partying at his own house, he's still got tons yeah, of options without even having to leave Mayweather. the neighborhood. Fuck his mansion it. is right next door to the luxurious Man, Beverly Hills home, Hotel. That, so he can always just ditch his master bedroom for a night at the presidential suite Lord, Lord, or extra $12,000 a night suites to accommodate any guests that don't fit in the mansion's Man, six bonds, bedrooms. Sir? While his Beverly Hills mansion is his most expensive property yet, Mayweather is no stranger to million dollar real estate one of his favorite areas to own property is miami and just before buying his 25 million dollar mansion he sold his 2.6 million dollar condo the 3,020 square foot penthouse suite was bought for 1.5 million back in 2010
10 and includes access to amenities like a swimming pool, jacuzzi, fitness center, 24-hour security services, and a clubhouse. Mayweather still owns another property in Miami, a $7.7 million mansion for which he also paid all cash. This modern waterfront residence features 5,200 square feet of space on Miami Beach's Indian Creek and has a rooftop with gorgeous views of the water. The home is also surrounded with floor-to-ceiling windows, and the backyard has a giant pool. And for a second most expensive property, it's definitely this $10 million estate in Las Vegas, of which Mayweather is particularly proud. This 11-bedroom, 14-bathroom home is 21,861 square feet in total. It comes with multiple guest houses, as well as indoor and outdoor pools. There's also a massive courtyard and a 20-car underground garage where he keeps his car collection, which is worth about $15 million. Mayweather admits that he barely drives these cars, but he wouldn't be truly wealthy without some ultra-expensive rides to show off. The mansion is admittedly Mayweather's pride and joy, though maybe his Beverly Hills estate has finally edged it out of the top spot. The Las Vegas pad was also bought in an exclusive off-market sale, and the boxer even dedicates an Instagram account just to show off his crib, which he nicknamed the Big Boy Mansion. Mayweather also owns another property in L.A., a 2,500-square-foot condo on one of the highest floors of the Ritz-Carlton residences. He secured this property for $2.4 million in 2013. It's a 1,700-square-foot unit with two bedrooms and three bathrooms. It also comes with access to a rooftop pool and picturesque city views. And for added convenience, it's only a couple blocks away from the Staples Center. It's already pretty impressive, but Floyd Mayweather's real estate portfolio is only